Hey guys, welcome to Season 2, Episode 1 of The Mentalist. Here we go. Jane, you're that psychic fellow. Right. Me? I don't buy into that ESP crap. No offense. Don't take it. Store security was on the scene pretty fast. We were able to detain everybody who was in the section at the time. We're holding them over in the furniture department. Okay, so you don't know who. Leather pants, musky cologne, phallic jewelry, a ladies' man. When after high end cougars with moderate success, casual cocaine user plays guitar. Not well, works in the non creative end of the creative business. Advertising, maybe. Nothing worth killing anyone over anyway. So he died for romantic reasons. Where are those suspects you mentioned? The witnesses? I don't know. He's too innocent. They can go. Uh, stick around. We're gonna need a statement. Yeah. That's the worst mistake you've ever made. Quick, oh, first marriage. <laughs> Why so nervous? I'm well, not. I just. I... Here. Thank you. Hey. It's okay. I'm a consultant. <laughs> Andy, take my advice. To give your mother, maybe the headaches will stop. I love my mother. Oh, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. My advice. Here, turn it. That's good. Excuse me. This is a joke, right? A joke? The man has been killed here. Is that funny to you? Are you amused? No. That's but... it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, quick question. Green Lantern versus Thor. Who wins? Thor. I'll have my husband take this up with your superiors. Andy, Mandy, Mandy. The diet pills are messing with your mind. This is Sacramento, the big city. Your husband means nothing here. Okay, that's enough. Agent Lisbon. Give him another moment. We don't need a moment. Case is all but closed. Mandy here is going to lead us right to the murder weapon. What? Take my hands. I need physical contact to reach your mind. You're nuts. Prove it. If I'm wrong, if we can't find the murder weapon, then I look like an idiot. Yes, you will. No way. <laughs> I love this. I think Neil did it. The murder weapon. This is crazy. I had no idea that was there. How could you direct us right to it if you didn't put it there? I didn't. I, I don't know. But I, I didn't kill that man. I, I didn't. She's right. She has nothing to do with the murder. What? I just used her as a decoy to lull the real killer into giving me clean directional cues. Oh, come on. What are you talking about now? Whatever way you didn't want us to go is the way that we went. The real killer? Yeah. You want to guess who it is? Come on, Jane. <laughs> Neil. Neil. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Excuse me. No, it wasn't. I, I don't even know that man. It made you feel small. Humiliated you. I was trying to close the case. It was my feeling that Red John should be our priority. Given that stop doesn't freshly stop. That's the nub of the problem right there. Red John. Ever since the Tanner incident you've been running way too hot. I fear a terminal screw up is coming. That's not gonna happen. I can handle him. Can you? Maybe since he saved your life, you're going easy on him. Maybe you feel compelled to cut him some slack. No, sir. Hey, Sam, get in here. Who's Sam? Oh no. Hi, Sam. Bosco. Agent Bosco and his unit are taking over the Red John case. What? Excuse me? No, 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 no. You have always been too close to the case, and now both of you are way too close. Marisa, no offense, but you guys aren't even close to catching this guy. First set of eyes gotta be a good idea. Oh, this is what crazy. Do you know the case? Not much. He's a serial killer. 15 victims, including your wife and child. I can imagine your pain. Maybe that pain is clouding your judgment. In me, Sam? What's clouding my judgment? Good question, you tell me. Him? <laughs> We've grown slack and unprofessional. 
But we need to earn back the trust that we've lost. From now on, we work 100%. What's he straight. doing? Is he leaving? No more shortcuts, no more games. What are you doing? You leaving? Well, Frank, if I can't use this job to seek some kind of personal revenge, then uh, there's not a whole lot here for me. I don't make anything better. I, mean, I can't bring dead people back to life. But what good do we do? Man, I was doing more good as a psychic. I was giving people hope, at least. False hope? But hope anyway. Come on. You're right. As you leave. That way you can go back to being a full-time fraud and we can continue our useless jobs in peace. We'll take two vehicles in case we need to split up. Come on. Come on. Come on. I think we need you. We'll manage. Maybe we don't close as many cases, but the ones Come we do on. close will be closed right by professionals. I'm not going to leave you in the lurch. Only one more case. Do up your sleep, though. He'll do more than one more case. He has to. <laughs> oh boy. You just left the door open, the cat's gonna get out. What's your take? Hit with a stun gun, then suffocate it with the cushion. Damn. They were looking for something, obviously. Did they find it, Bruce? Um, it's impossible to tell. Well, it seems they looked at it. Hey! Possible, yes. I know that guy. Yeah. So we can assume that they didn't find it, whatever it is. Knocking off the car, we'll have the lab boys take a look. It's still registered to the previous owner. Sold it for cash six months ago. So basically, we know nothing about it. Nice basically. Car. It's a working truck. Dad must be in construction, something like that. Base short career, April 2006. Dad's also a crooked. County finals. Lady Bullfrogs dominate injury plagued Panthers. Base short career, June this year. Headline is Police no closer to Dunninger. Since her disappearance last month, Bay Shore PD have been unable to locate 43 year old Monica Dunninger, the secretary accused of stealing nearly a million dollars from her employers, the Jackson yeah. Training Crew. Mm. Okay. Bay Shore is then. So the killer must be looking for a million bucks. She had a million bucks. Why is she living in a dump like this? Yeah. Also, before we go on the freeway, it'd be good to take a little drive around the neighborhood. It'd be good to find an empty house for something. No secrets, Jane. No lies, no tricks, no surprises. The truth. Well, since when is that the rule? Since I said so? Oh, damn. Or else what? You're off the unit. That's not leverage. This is my last case, remember? The only reason I'm still here is because I'm worried about how you guys have coped without me. Oh, really? So we're lost without you, are we? Well, yeah, let's be honest here. Let's go. Wait. Right, go. Wait. I have every expectation that wherever they're going, he'll just randomly appear. <laughs> What'd you say to them? Oh, nothing, really? Total overreaction. Yeah. <laughs> we need to find a house for sale. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eric Blair, is that what this is? Surprise. No. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, it's rumors. I'm sorry for what I said to you before. Can I please continue working with you? I thought you were quitting. You know I didn't mean that. 
So the job is worthwhile, is it? Uh, it's not that. It's not that at all. It's just... I have nothing else to do. No jokes. From now on, there have to be boundaries. Agreed. I need to know that you can do your work and be effective without creating a mess that I have to clean up. No mess, I swear. No more mess. On that basis, you can remain with the unit. Thank you. Totally better now, but still weak. Is it revisions? Gone. Hundred percent. Wow. I am blessed. Even the doctors were amazed. When Ansel brought cancer, her way of coping, painkillers, and a sleaze bag lover. That's mom. Yikes, mom. Bodhi Andrus. Ansel goes to meet his mom at our yoga aerobics class. He finds her banging the teacher in his office. Can you imagine? Hey, yo. <laughs> she did her dance. She's so ashamed. She's so sorry. She's changed. I'm Whatever. so sorry. You're only sorry you got Dad caught, lady. Give me her. The selfish cow beneath the Cassie. <laughs> oh, duck that way. She loved you. She was a selfish cow. Show some respect. <laughs> That's so damn. <laughs> it's crazy to say. You know, God works in mysterious ways. Well, you know, God doesn't necessarily. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Nice tea. You know, Miles Thorson. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Riggs, we go and check him out. Yeah, so. Let's get on the money trail. Somebody's got that million dollars. I'll start with the dad and the daughter. One million dollars. See if either of those things come to money they should have. They look clean to me. Oh, did they? Okay, great. Just let them be. I don't. Check him out. Hey, and let's use that focus we found throughout the week, okay? Namaste. Namaste. That time you seem to be a jury. Yep. So we got sent there for you. It's gang stuff. You run a gang. What's the name of the gang? Avon Park Playboys. Avon Park Playboys. Gang stuff. Oh, Bullshit. No freaking way. So come out slowly, hands on your head, and we won't hurt you. I promise. Come out now. Don't Jesus, that was not Point, slowly. You buddy Andros? Yes, I am. You want me to uh, keep you up to date on the case? Yeah, sure. Tell you about fresh leads, etc. Yeah, let's just keep an open line of communication. Why do I feel like that's not happening? Good. Mm. Let me communicate this to you. Oh boy. You're a party entertainer. A clown. Fresh leads? I wouldn't tell you where the bathroom is if your ass was on fire. <laughs> Do we have a good understanding now? I understand you. It may take you some time to understand me. Oh, Patrick. I'm sorry to be so blunt. Oh, I don't like this guy at all. Really? You're not a detective. You're a victim. Screw him. I'm the Oh, uh, good. It was, uh, it was very good. We had a frank exchange of views. So he's going to keep us going? No. No. <laughs> he wouldn't direct me to the bathroom if my ass was on fire. <laughs> if you sit down by the riverbank and wait long enough, you will see the bodies of your enemies float by. Shall we? What? <laughs> he 
Excuse me? Agent Lisbon, is it? I'm Rhonda Jaffe, company chairwoman. My father always used to say, Jaffe printing is about values, not about machinery. You're a Miles Thorson. Miles Thorson, no. Are you sure? Yes. Seriously, stop it. Relax. Save your life. Short sure answer. Jill. Ask Jill if she knows Miles. Jill? Jill, where has Greg Humphrey gone to? Hey, humble apologies. Small crisis. On this kind of thing. Solved. Uh, Greg Humphrey, good to meet you. Uh, can you explain to us how she did it in layman's terms? Uh, been there, done that with the top men from the FBI financial unit. Do we really need to go over it again? Yes. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Yes, you do. Thank you. Please. <laughs> what exactly was her position here? How did she manage to steal so much money? When the accounting and finance systems were integrated, nobody thought to firewall the petty cash accounts. Monica acquired user access to the transactional sites and created a false vendor. I didn't think she had the brains, to be honest. That's, wow. I don't know exactly how she did it, because she fried her hard drive and she took her accounts book with her. Are we about to look at a whole bunch of numbers? Probably. The victim's daughter, Cassie Dunninger, she handles the family money, pays the bills. Five months ago, she stopped paying the rent by standing order, switched to cash. Same thing with the utility bills. Paid in cash. Interesting. Go and talk to her. She's not a good answer, Baron. Well, do, boss. Yes. Well done. <laughs> I love her so much. What did you hide from us, Bodie? Fear, man. Fear. Fear, bro. I've been frightened for my life ever since I heard. Why? I heard what? Who killed her? Either it was her goober husband finally snapped, which puts me next in line, or it's whoever she went to business with, and maybe they think I know too much. And wanted to make amends and apologize for being such a pain in the butt. Which she was. How so? She was way too deep into her family, to her kids, and all that crap. This guy is... I love those kids. <laughs> this guy is so. Why do I want to talk to her about her sick boy? Like I can help? You're not a doctor. Yeah. Exactly. How, how could you? Caught by that kid. She just went to pieces. Oh, right. And I'm like, don't get so down on yourself. <laughs> Namaste. You gotta love you, even if you're a total screw up, right? The greatest love of all. Yeah. That was right, as usual. Namaste. <laughs> You know a man named Miles Thorson? No, who's he? <laughs> now he's got Kim doing it. <laughs> so, Cassie, tell me about the money. About a month after she ran off, Mom called me. So I don't know who has this money. She wanted to help us out, wanted to know how Ansel was doing. She loves us so much, blah, blah, blah. I told her to go to hell and I hung up. Two days later, I got a letter with $5,000 in cash inside. Whoa! Any message? Nobody sends me that. What's that? What was I supposed to do? Give it to the police? Yes. Actually, yes. <laughs> well, I didn't. You're distracted. You're thinking about Bosco and Red John. Focus on the job at hand. I think Bosco has a Red John case, aren't you? No. Bosco is a good agent. He's as good as they come. Oh. It might not be such a bad thing that we're off the case for a while. We got too close. Is that what you shrink, Tozer? Everybody tells me that. But you shrink it tight enough, don't you? Okay, may maybe you're right. Maybe maybe that's the truth. Maybe we did get a little too close. I'm not so sure, but I'll think about it. See that box over there? It's got Monica Dunninger's possessions in it. Go through it, see what you can see. Yes, ma'am. Aye, aye, Captain. Uh, who wants to come with me out to 20 Palms to catch the killer? Did this been okay this? Of course. Damn it. <laughs> what is this place? Yes. It's Miles Thorson's house. Exactly. Who's Miles Thorson? Oh, uh... I have no idea. <laughs> what? What? Don't tell me. I'm so confused. Are we about to meet Miles Thorson? Isn't that your number? 
Uh, yeah, that's my number. That's in case the killer gets here before us. That way he'll call us. What's that? Are we just gonna camp here? Okay, so what are we doing here? Everybody involved is wondering who Miles Thorson is. Huh? The killer will be doubly curious. Triply, even. Why would Monica Doniger be reading this book? You children in English kind of crap. I'm not doing anything wrong. What's the problem? A burglary? Trespassing? Rifle not... damage to property? Uh... The door was open. Uh, no, it wasn't. I think the door was ah, open. Of course. The house is for right. sale. Rigsby, you're right. You shouldn't be here. Let us take this. You go find the nearest library. This is more of a fishing expedition. You know, maybe we get a bite. Maybe we don't. That's the fun of it. We just sit back, relax, angle our feet no more. Hope somebody walks through the door. Where are you, Miles Thorson? <laughs> Did you consider that the killer found the money already? I don't think it was money they were looking for. I didn't think Monica ever had it. Well, what did she have then? And who has the money? Original mid century detail. Copper piping that. Oh, did you have a fax machine in 2000? <laughs> um, hi? No cause for alarm, sir. We're law enforcement officers, CBI. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Wrong address. Whoa, whoa, Rhonda. I'm back. Here out of curiosity, that's all. Oh, of course. I've got nothing else to say without my lawyer. You don't need to say anything. I knew it was you from the start. Subconsciously thought it was her when I saw a photo of her holding a large check outside Cedars of Zion. It was um, you that stole the million dollars from your own company. Oh my Why would I God. do that? Not to turn gambling, it'd be my guess, but whatever your problem is, when threatened with exposure, you made a deal with poor Monica. If she'd take the blame and disappear, you'd get answered to the best cancer program in California. Oh, that's and pay her a monthly wage to stay gone. But then Ansel got cured and there was no way Monica was going to stay gone. Not much longer. And you had to silence her. That's pure fiction. That's insane. You have no proof That's at so, like, oh, I'm yeah. impressed as hell. Yeah, where is it? Where is this? Yep. <clears throat> this can be good. Is this the book? Looks like an accounts book. <laughs> There's a DVD in it. This is just... Oh, that's great. Right. In case something happens to me. But I hope that this deal that I've made will help Ansel get better and will make up for some of the hurt that I've caused. Damn, dude. I love you all. So I was never going to guess this one. This one was too difficult. Especially you, Cassie. Even though you think I don't. Monica took the fall for her boss so that Ansel would have the best possible treatment. gonna be so mad at Jane though. <laughs> oh hi, Sam Bosco here, the CBI Major Crimes Program. Question, how do I go about changing my in house access passcode? I got strong reason to believe it's been compromised. Yeah, great. Sure, sure, I can help. Oh, that's... <laughs> He's playing the game now. Oh, great episode. Hey, if you want to get these videos early, you can. Down simplereactions.com in the description. Uh, or patreon.com slash simplereactions. Up to 20 weeks or more before they get posted over on YouTube. Um, yeah. See y'all next time.